Uh, what is going on, everybody? Rockstar Bull 69 here with episode number 69. That's right, I said episode number 69. <laughs> of our F1 2019 career mode, and uh, it's time for round number 5 in season number 4 around uh, the circuit of Barcelona Catalonia in Spain, the start of the European season. Let's get to it, shall we? And uh, there you go. We have a fully upgraded car. And the weather? Well, the weather looks uh, fan dabby do, as uh, they would say. Which is uh, all well and good. So let's have a look at uh, where this puts us on the uh, R&D tree. There it is. Look at that. Fully upgraded Mercedes. Now we'll know what Hamilton feels like. So we've got the best engine. Third best uh, aero department. But the best chassis. Better than the McLaren chassis. <laughs> That's, uh, excuse me, that saying a lot. You can see there, uh, we've upgraded to now. We're the best uh, team out there. Uh, it looks like the back stragglers are part of uh, all uh, upgraded as well, which is uh, good. So let's look at the championship. And uh, we lead the way with uh, three victories in the second place from uh, Lewis Hamilton. Then uh, come Charles Leclerc, Valtteri Bottas. Kevin Magnussen, Devin Butler, Sebastian Vettel, Lucas Weber, Danny Ricciardo, and Carlos Sainz round at your top 10. In the constructors, Mercedes are pulling away with it, uh, followed by McLaren, Haas, Ferrari, Renault, Williams, Racing Point, Red Bull, Tom Rosso, and Alfa Romeo still yet to score. And I do believe that that's uh, Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, uh, Kvyat, and Stroll. All not scored yet. Such is life. So we're going to go get practiced around uh, the first European race of the season and then we're going to get qualified and uh, we will see you guys on the start line for what should be a very good and exciting Spanish Grand Prix. What does the Spanish Grand Prix have in store for us today, I wonder? I hope we see some tight wheel-to-wheel -wheel action down the main straight circa Mansell and Senna way back in 91 or maybe we'll have a more strategic race here on a track where overtaking can be difficult. The Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya, a track that will certainly force the drivers to push themselves. It consists of a very impressive main straight going into turn one. It's a straight that also offers a DRS zone, so it's likely to be a hot spot for overtakes. Anthony Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. Let's talk about Paul. That was a great podium in the last race, so can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Poole lines up on pole position, and starting alongside is Lucas Faber. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Devon Butler, and Verstappen, Gasly, Vettel, Magnussen, and Carlos Sainz, Stroll, Grosjean, Daniel Ricciardo, and Hamilton. They've taken a grid penalty. Albon, Perez, Kimi Raikkonen, and Nico Hülkenberg, Giovinazzi, and Daniel Daniel Kvyat completes the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, the run into turn one isn't too long, so the pack will be bunched up. Take care. <laughs> he thinks the run into turn one is not long enough. Uh, bollocks. Uh, but you did see from the rundown that uh, it's a Mercedes 1-2. This is a weapon and it will be used to that effect. Uh, it is going to be a one-stop strategy for the race today. And uh, on honestly, guys, I, I, I'm absolutely thrilled with this car. Absolutely thrilled with how it's reacting, how it's acting out there. You see, there's actually not much difference between the um, the medium and the hard strategy. So, I'm wondering. Hmm. We haven't used the hard uh, a lot. We may use it. We uh, we'll see how uh, see how it goes. 
but uh, I think we'll definitely use the medium. There's, there's not much difference. We may use either or. But uh, that being said, we'll get uh, this race underway, shall we? See if we can beat our teammate down uh, into the first corner. Here we go then, folks. The Spanish Grand Prix. The Silver Arrows are on the front row again. Uh, let's see if it stays away from Fiber Lights. Right, it's lights out of the way we go. And unlike Baku again, awful start this time. We're blocking uh, Lucas Faber down to the first corner. Bottas is already past us. Uh, one of Ferraris is going past. I think that's Devon Butler. Excuse me, go through. Thank you. Oi, yeah, oi, oh, we're off the track. We're all over the track. We're, we're all over the place, but thankfully we managed to get it through. And around into the lead we go. Lucas has gone down to what? Second, third, fourth. Must be at least fifth, sixth, something in that area. But uh, hopefully he can get back uh, to the front as uh, Bottas is... Uh, is that Bottas or is that Hamilton? I can't see who that is. It is Bottas. I do apologise. you got Bottas there. I think Butler is back there as well. Yes, it's uh, Bottas and Butler for Weber. Sorry, Bottas? It's Paul Bottas, Butler, Weber. Who's that behind Weber? It's one of the Red Bulls. That's probably for Staff. Uh, no, that's the man Gasly. I do apologise. That's the man Gasly in... Uh, Fourth in fifth place. This kink. Oh, God, my. That kinks uh, everything. But around this circuit between me and Weber, it's unfinished F2 business. And we're going to go out there and we're going to do what we should have done in uh, F2 originally as we go into this horrible chicane in the uh, last uh, sector and then run a bit wide out of the last corner. That's not going to do us any favours because Bottas in that McLaren is on our rear end under that big stanchion side. Bottas to the left. He's going to try around the outside of turn one into turn two on the inside. Oh, big lock up from Bottas and I think Olbers took out the wing of Devon Butler there. Butler may be side by side with him. We can't. We got a big slide through turn three. That is not what we needed. We didn't need that kind of a slide through turn three to go into the turn four corner. And now through we go fasty. Well, obviously we're going to have a fastest uh, middle sector, aren't we? Sorry, first sector into turn five. Turn six is hardly going to be there as we kink through and then into turn seven. Lovely work. Uh, oh, a bit wide into the gravel. Just dipped a tyre into the gravel through turn eight and nine. Bottas all over our rear wing again. He's uh, having to back out of it, though, because uh, he's got big-time Devon Butler right behind him. <coughs> as we go into this... Uh, it's not a new section, it's been around for a while. But they did it to, apparently to promote overtaking, but it promotes nothing! It promotes absolutely nothing. As we go into this chicane, really does uh, promote nothing. All it promotes is uh, carnage. But uh, reasonable mid middle sector. But uh, we'll see if that turns into fastest laps as uh, Lucas Weber is going to go to the inside of big time Devon Butler. And uh, that's side by side Mercedes and Ferrari, and the Mercedes got him into turn one. It, excellent work, excellent job. And that is uh, P3 for the German. As we go back onto turn three, we did set the fastest lap uh, of the Grand Prix. We'll see if we can translate that into something else as we go. Wow, was that half a second faster? Half a second! Wow! That's that's just immense. Half a second faster. That that's that's. I don't know what to say to that. That that's just incredible, folks. As you go into turn ten, that's blind and ooh, 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 I'll tell you what, that's blind and that's uh, a bit of a pain in the ass. Now, what why has gone wrong with Butler here? Butler's dropped off the pace dramatic. Oh, I see what's gone wrong. Look at his uh, left front wing. Gasly's around the outside and Gasly into P4. Butler's lost his wing. As uh, we go fastest in the middle sector now, can we translate that into fastest uh, overall as we clunk the curve? Oh, excuse me. Little uh, little corner cut there, never hurt anybody. No harm, no foul. As we go over the line, and now it's an 18. Good lord. Oh, thanks, Lucas. Yeah, Lucas Weber wants uh, to get in on the party. They want me to change my lap. No, not this time. It would uh, certainly be. Well, we're going to have a. That tells me that uh, we're going to be fighting with Weber this race. This is going to be an F2 race of mythic proportions. Maybe I'll make up for the fact that in F2 we absolutely sucked. But uh, hopefully we don't suck. Uh, don't suck too much. 
hopefully we just get on with the job at uh, hand as the back end steps out through turn seven and eight. Sorry, eight and nine. No, that is seven and eight. Because uh, here's turn nine. No, that's yeah, that's right. I got my corners mixed up then for a second. Who we got here? We got Charles Leclerc. Is this going to be Butler? Yeah, Butler is really struggling, folks. And if Leclerc can uh, get past Butler, I imagine that uh, the man Gasly is not going to be too far uh, ahead of him. No, because he's uh, going to go after him. But uh, that is Leclerc into P5 as we cut the corner again. But uh, we overdid it uh, that time. Do we take fastest lap? We set our fastest last sector. Only because we cut the corner. Hitting the energy rates, yeah, they want more uh, energy harvesting. But you can see Bottas and Weber are pretty close to each other. Now we go to uh, the Aussie, Rick Bobby, the Honey Badger. He's chasing after Alex Albon for P13 here. We've got uh, Lewis Hamilton behind him in P14. Hamilton with an awful uh, qualifying, but to the outside will go Rick Bobby. And to the inside of turn two, and he's got the move done, has he? Yes, he has. Movement to P13. Great stuff. That is textbook around uh, that corner. But uh, what is it? So it's energy charge is low. Yes or no? If you wait till we get to the last sector, we'll give you some energy harvesting. Don't panic about it. We'll just use the uh, immense power that this engine has uh, got to uh, try and... Uh, hopefully pull us through so we're on lap five we're in the next lap so we're going to, have to really push it as hard as we can as we go back to the continuing saga of Luke Devon Butler and unfortunately it looks like to lose p6 to Verstappen and behind is one of the Renaults how did he lose that wing I didn't see how he lost that wing is he did he lose it at the start did he lose it Box, box. We're in this I, I, I don't know how he lost that wing that is uh, pretty stupid how he uh, how he lost that. But hopefully it's um, not uh, it's not terminal. Hopefully he can uh, just sit around, get the job done, and uh, fish bash wallop he's off uh, and underway. We're gonna be pitting this lap. Hopefully uh, Bottas comes in with us. Because the one thing we don't want, we do not want to be undercut by Bottas. Like it was at Baku, and look at Magnussen! Oh, who is that all over the track off? That must have been Vettel! And he's right up the inside of Magnussen! That is uh, what you call pinching someone's pocket, and P8 for the German! That's incredible! Right, so we've now gone to non-ERS, we'll get to ready to go into lead mix with the fuel in a second. There we go, we're in lead mix now, so this is us settling for uh, our pit stop here as Butler. He is still struggling, but that's Vettel right behind Butler. Butler's going fast, backwards and fast. That'll feel sweet for Vettel. PR7 for the German as uh, we now come into the pits and uh, as we come into the pits in the box you can see Weber and Bottas are going to fight for the lead here there's no one in front of Bottas so he's a sitting duck on this straight to the German but Weber's going outside this should work I'm hoping it works anyway yes around the outside and it's going to be still side by side uh, in the bottom box what we've got going in the bottom box here that's uh, Grosjean and uh, I think that's Hollywood Lance Stroll there for P10 yeah they, there they go you can see them uh, in the corner of the main screen as we come out the pits here oh, I want to clear that Force India excuse me I'm not being uh, behind a Force India again you can get that out of there let's see what's going on now with uh, Grosjean and Stroll around the outside of turn 3 what a move that is and who's this going up the inside Carlos Sainz da -da 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 Carla Sainz just picked Stroll's pocket. That's uh, opportunistic and a big lockup from Hollywood Land Stroll. That's why we call him Hollywood, folks. But uh, we've settled out in P9. And we've got Alex Albon. Oh, God. We've got to clear Albon here because this is... Uh, yeah, this is not going to end well. We've got to clear him. We've got to clear him. I don't care how hard it is. We've got to clear He's gone really defensive. That's going to end in tears because we're now sliding up the inside and we've got Alex Albon, the tie driver. And that is P... Uh, I haven't a clue what position. I think that was P8, sorry. But here comes Weber and Bottas now. This is the key stop here. This is the key stop right here. So Weber is in. Got the mediums on. He's off. Where's Bottas? 
Bottas is right there. He's just finished his service. Where are we? Where, oh, where are we? We're around here somewhere. Let's stroll. There we are. We've lost out again. Oh, get in front of him and stroll. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Maybe around the outside. Oi, get out of the way. Thank you. Give him the old boot. Have that. We had the momentum and we had the corner as well. So that's us up into P2, I think that's going to be. After it all goes off. What's going on uh, here? This is... Uh, who is that? That's Magnussen with uh, Carla. No, that's not Carla. So it's... it's um, who is that? That's Hamilton. I don't know where uh, they came from, but uh, they came uh, literally out of nowhere there. Oh, there we are. So that was uh, for P18 before all the stops uh, started. But Hollywood Land Stroll leads this race. I don't know how much longer he's going to lead this race for. But uh, we've got Weber all over our rear wing. Actually, no, it's Bottas all over Weber's rear wing. We've got to get uh, Weber out of the... W Come on, Weber. Come on, Weber. Defend like uh, you mean it here. Defend like your life intends on it. And he does, thankfully. But we've got Stroll. Will Stroll pit this lap? Yes, he will. So we've cleared him. We've got DRS as well. But where will Weber figure into all of this? Weber's got to figure somewhere. Hopefully he uh, figures in a bit too much. He's gone to the outside here of uh, Turn 1. That's not really going to work because all I'll do is just bury it into the corner and uh, keep it uh, locked in there. Thank you very much. Now, Leclerc has pumped some laps in here. Gasly's going to be a sitting duck on the straight. That Red Bull is no match for that uh, Haas there. All he's going to come from deep down the inside. What a dive bomb. Absolute dive bomb. But Gasly's going to hold on just to push him way out. Good move, Gasly. And speaking of uh, sitting ducks, nothing matches the power of that Williams Mercedes in the car there. And uh, I think Verstappen... He's going to be a sitting duck here. There's a more sensible move from Sebastian Vettel. But again, that Red Bull's good in a straight line, isn't it? Speaking of good in a straight line, Alexander Albon should be past Raikkonen here with uh, no hassle, no fuss. There are cars coming out the pit lane here. There are cars coming out the pit lane. Oh, my God, Raikkonen free wide into the first good one. You don't want to do that. I think Raikkonen's lost his wing as well. That's going to give him horrible understeer. And Raikkonen is going to be passed by Giovinazzi. And who are... Oh, three wide into turn four. You got Perez right there. Is that Perez or is that Hulkenberg? Having a clue. But uh, we'll find out eventually. This is going... It looks like uh, Perez. I think it's Perez anyway. It could be Hulkenberg. It could be anybody. We don't, haven't uh, got a clue. But what a move that was. Now, on to lap number 10 here. And you can see Leclerc wants to get past Gasly. He really, really wants to get past Gasly, folks. He's trying a more sensible move here, and that should be job done. Although Gasly, again, hangs it round the outside, but through turn three, I don't think he's got any match there. He's going to let Leclerc go. And that is uh, the Monogas driver up into P... Uh, what position is that now? P4 for him. Speaking of uh, Red Bulls being passed here, the sh oh, Vettel was stinking inside, decided to go to the outside. That should work, because uh, that Mercedes power trip... Well... <laughs> That's frustrating. How on earth is that uh, so frustrating? Uh, I'd I love this Toro Rosso here. Lance Stroll to get some points because uh, he's uh, he's done well here as a uh, good old Hollywood. But uh, he's got uh, Ricardo and Butler coming past. Ricardo's past him. Will Butler get past him? I don't think Butler will. And uh, so, oh, Butler might still side by side. Oh, bit of contact there. Side to side, wheel to wheel action. Between Bottas and Butler. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, not Bottas and Butler. Stroll and Butler. And uh, finally, Butler gets him and he's into P12 ahead of uh, Hollywood Land Stroll. Now, the fight for P19. Raikkonen's going to go backwards quickly because Kvyat should have him for breakfast, lunch, tea, and everything else uh, in between. What is breakfast, lunch, and tea? I haven't a clue. But, uh, speaking of should have him, this is a little further up now. Albon's being. Albon's being passed by Giovinazzi. Oh, oh my god. Albon's just been passed by Antonio Giovinazzi. Somebody give Antonio Giovinazzi a move there. Uh, apparently we cut the corner there again. We didn't want to do that. So kind of don't do that. If uh, you don't uh, mind there. It would be nice uh, if we didn't uh, do that. 
but uh, lap number 11 into turn 1, into turn 2. And who we got here? Sorry, I got uh, a little distracted. That's Sainz and Magnussen for P9. Uh, Sainz is going to get Magnussen, I think. Yes, he is. I think he did, yes. So let's see what happens here between... Uh, I think this is Ricardo and Butler. Yes, for P11. And Butler's going to go to the outside of Ricardo. Oh, big lockup for Butler. You're not going to get... Uh, that one uh, very easily there as uh, we see who is this this is Hulkenberg sorry not Perez Albon's uh, being passed oh they're free wide into the first corner that's not going to work with Kvyat to uh, try to get in there and Kvyat I think has just pinched both of their pockets absolutely amazing there they've just uh, done a swap as uh, well I think uh, Faber is uh, all over the place we were all over the place clunking that uh, chicane there And you can see side by side as uh, who's this in the box? That is Albon and Raikkonen in the box. Albon's got a problem if uh, he's been uh, overtaken by Raikkonen, who's also got a problem. <clears throat> and speaking of problems, Vettel and Verstappen are going to finally find out this P6 to the left, to the right, up and down and touching knees, says uh, Sebastian Vettel. He wants through. Verstappen won't let him through. And I think uh, Raikkonen didn't let um, Albon through either. So uh, that's all kicking off there as Ricardo and Butler keep this fight going uh, for P11. And it is only for P11, it's for nothing better. Did you ever think you'd find two Ferraris fighting over P11 with no points on offer? Still side by side and Butler's got uh, Ricardo is into P11. Deary me, and so who we got here? We got Kvyat, there goes Joe Vinazzi. So there's Kvyat and Hulkenberg. I think this is all oh, to the outside. Nice uh, fake out there by Hulkenberg. And uh, he's got P17 there from uh, from the, the Russian as we move on to lap number 13. We're going really defensive here. He's nowhere in sight, is uh, Weber. He's gaining, but he's not going to get to turn one in time, I don't think. No, he's not uh, going to get to turn one there. So... Uh, that's uh, easier said than uh, done. <coughs> As uh, what have we got? We've got Ricardo and Butler here again. This is uh, for P11 still. Now just up the road there, you see Magnussen just up the road. I wonder if one of these could get a point here. One of them could, but uh, if they keep fighting side by side like this, it's never ever going to work. And uh, there is uh, my promise from me to you. As uh, we got Giovinazzi and we've got uh, Hulkenberg chasing down Antonio Giovinazzi here for P16. And uh, Hulkenberg's fake to the outside. He's going to get him round the outside. I think he will. I think he will. I think he should. And I think he's not going to get him just yet. Well, he should clear him now. And when he does, that Force India is going to be gone. Gone like the wind, but they're still side by side. Still wheel to wheel. This is great racing here between the Alfa Romeo and the... Uh, the Force India. Sorry, the racing point. The racing point. I, I keep... You would have thought, but four seasons now and a season in real life. I know what uh, this is all about. Look at them still side by side. Wheel to wheel. It's all kicking off. And Joe Nazi's finally got uh, his man there. Now, will this be Weber pass, trying to pass us? Or will this be Bottas trying to pass us? It's going to be one of the two. I don't know which one of the two. In the box there, you got uh, Giovinazzi and Hulkenberg. Still at it. Oh, but Weber tried it. And Bottas has uh, come in to pick his pocket. And Bottas has taken P2 there. That's uh, not good. As uh, we go back to... Who is that? Who are you? Who are you? you? I know who you are. You're Sebastian Vettel. And that's Lewis Hamilton past you. And here comes Carla Sainz. Try to sneak one, but uh, Vettel has uh, got his man. And uh, he's up into... Uh, what's he up into? Well, no, Vettel's uh, trying to hold on here. He's trying to hold on as best he can, but... Uh, oh, I think Carlos is going to 
try and squeeze him here. Hamilton's in P7, but Vettel's going down to P8. Well, he's now P9. So that, uh, that sorts that out. As, uh, we go to Perez. Perez is uh, chased down Hollywood Land Stroll here. I say chased down. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, it was a chase down anyway. So, Giovinazzi, Hulkenberg, Kvyat. This is still over P17. Raikkonen, no, it's not. It's over P16, I should say. But there goes uh, Kvyat around the outside of Giovinazzi, and uh, he's got his man right there. Uh, right, now we're on to uh, lap number 15. Bottas, look at Bottas trying to follow us here. He wants to uh, go that way because, uh, oh, he's past us. He has passed us. We're going to just throw one. Oh, Bottas. Use the intimidate button on Bottas and uh, we take the lead of the Grand Prix back. As uh, we go to Sainz and Vettel. Now, Sainz looks like he doesn't have DRS. If he doesn't, Vettel goes inside. That don't going to work because Sainz will just swoop it around the outside and keep P8. He would have thought the German had know better there. Speaking of would have known better, here comes uh, Kvyat. Kvyat's on a charge, folks. Kvyat's on a right charge. He's trying to pass Hulkenberg here for P16. Get the job done there, uh, Kvyat. I like your style. Around the outside of turn three. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Goodbye. God bless. Thank you very much. And see you later. Speaking of see you later, what's uh, going to be happening here? Who is that? It's Leclerc. Can you tell by the number 16 on the uh, side of his car hit? Oh, Leclerc's out. Leclerc's out. So that means... Uh, that the Red Bull, the Ferraris now are fighting for a point. Leclerc was just on his own now and he's had a, a failure and he's numped it into the wall there. <coughs> That's useful. Now, come on, Weber. We've done all the grass work here. You've got to do all the, the leg work. Come on, round the outside. Round the outside. You got him. I think you got him. No, you didn't get him. <laughs> You're an idiot. Oh, Verstappen and Hamilton. Verstappen's done well here for P5, but uh, I think it's going to be P6 and probably nothing better than that. So fair play to uh, the Dutchman there as Hamilton gets past him. And uh, we've got Manx and Vettel here now. now. Vettel's been going backwards. He wants to be careful because uh, that red car behind him is coming pretty quickly. I'd love that red car to just absolutely kibosh them. But uh, here we go. Magnussen and Vettel, the superior Renault against that inferior Williams, and there you go, job done. Will Butler have a look? Will Ricardo have a look? Oh, Butler! We're looking at the wrong fight there! Who's going to get this point? I think Vettel's just screwed over Butler. I hope he's uh, just screwed over Butler, because that would be absolutely hilarious if he did. I would find that absolutely funny as we, uh, well, we cut the corner, but I think it's with uh, good reason, because look behind us. And I do mean look behind us, because here comes Faber. Here comes Bottas. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to get a Mercedes 1-2 in this race? I'd love it, love it. Oh, we forced him off the track. A bit of contact there as well. Big lock up from Bottas. Oh, there you go, Faber. you got the door open. Thank you. P1 and 2. There's how you do it. And speaking of there's how you do it, here comes Magnussen with his uh, P8 intact. And he's going to have a go at uh, Vettel. Or Vettel's going to go at him down into turn one. And Ricardo's coming quickly. Ricardo may get uh, another point here. But no, Magnussen's uh, going to hold on. Swoop it around the outside. And that's uh, job done for him. And uh, speaking of job done, it's P16 for uh, Hulkenberg and or Kvyat. One of the two. We don't know which one of the two. It's going to be one of them. But uh, there you go. Hulkenberg to the outside. Big lock up from Kvyat. Hulkenberg gave him room as well. Didn't have to do that. But uh, that's job done. And that is fair play. But here we come. Bring it home. A Mercedes 1-2, folks. Oh, you love to see this. You absolutely love, love, love to see this. Come in out of the chicane, folks. And it's going to be victory. It's going to be victory. Go over to the wall. Oh, there goes my... What did you do? Oh, she... That was closer than it needed to be, but that was for the photo there. Team photo. P1 and 2, baby. Yes, another historic win under their belts. Well done to the team at Mercedes.
Anthony Davidson. How do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was today, speed. I know it sounds like an obvious thing to say, Crofty, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes. Ugh. Do you want to see how close that was, folks? We'll show you how close that was. If it was the second line here, we'd have been done for. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Paul increases their championship lead. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out and they improve their position in the championship. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. I can't wait for the next one either. P1, P2, the winning gap. Look at that, 0 0.0048. Nothing to separate it. And Lewis Hamilton took the fastest lap, uh, must have took it on the last lap there. But uh, it's a 1-2 for Mercedes, that's all we care about. Bottas third, then Gasly with a brilliant fourth place. Hamilton, then Verstappen with an equally brilliant sixth place. Oh, Sainz, Magnussen, Vettel, and Butler got uh, Ricardo. I didn't uh, see that. I thought uh, Ricardo got Butler. Look at the rest of here. And Leclerc with a big DNF. Oh, well then, let's go and see... Uh, she who shall not be named. See what questions she has for us this time, shall we? Oh, look out, here she comes. Let's have your thoughts. <laughs> should be interesting. It doesn't get much better than uh, it really track, doesn't, does considering it? the way we won it as well. Uh, I thought we uh, dug in there, and uh, but it's all got to come down to this upgraded beast of a car. What do you think made the difference between uh, this weekend Well, it's simple. Bottas week. was behind us. He couldn't get away. Um, well, let's just praise the chassis, shall we? We all underestimated you, didn't we? Meh. Four seasons in, winning all these races. You shouldn't really be underestimating me, really. That was a close race with Lucas. As Do you know what? I like Lucas. He's really well. pushing me in uh, this Mercedes. We've got the best car out here, and uh, now we know what we're going to do, so we're still learning from each other. Appreciate your time. And yours. <sighs> Did we not choose a rival? Okay. <laughs> okay. We didn't choose a rival. <laughs> but uh, that's what I call a well earned victory. Well earned and hard earned there. Bottas and Weber pushing us all the way, and we got a 1 2 for the uh, Mercedes team as well. So what, uh, what more could be uh, could be asked of us? Look at that! It, it's great to see stuff like that. Everyone wants to sign us. Everyone wants to have us in the team. But there's only one team that got us at the moment, and that's the Mercedes team. Great work this weekend! It was fantastic to see you up on that podium. It was fantastic, and you should expect it. Lucas, how do you feel it's after like that podium, mate? Yeah, we ain't doing calendar. any of these. If you decide to take him on, it might I'll, I'll tell you now, I will not do any of these. I'm opinion. not going to do any more of these uh, invitational events, because, quite frankly, they're getting a bit repetitive. Uh, ooh, let's talk about our rivalry between Lucas and... ourselves and Lucas getting a lot of publicity, is it? Very interesting. Uh, well, what can we do? Oh, that's right, we can't upgrade anything. <laughs> we can't. Uh, engines looking a bit worn, but that's fine. That should last to Canada. And there is the championship table. Lucas jumping up to fifth in the table. Guys, let's get to 15 likes on this beautiful Sunday. We can uh, do it all together. 
Uh, and once again, I cannot thank you all for your continued support of the uh, series and the channel. And you can subscribe for more daily F1 2019, NASCAR Heat Force, Luca 19, and Monster Energy Supercross Crembo videos, as well as other live streams that we are able to do when we're not working now. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope uh, you did enjoy once again. And we will see you all next uh, time for the next F1 2019 Korean video. So take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.